Podcast Ranger. So do we, um, is there, uh, the news? Uh, yes, yes, Emily, there is the news. The Welcome news. to Extra Extra Cast Ranger. Wait, was that what recorded? Is... Emily with that wicked opening. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, please, no. I fucking slid in there right as I hit record. That's amazing. No, don't keep that. <laughs> yep, we're using it. We're doing it live, <laughs> sort of. Eli! Oh, oh, wait, Zoom's over. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> I have no, mixed feelings on that, actually. You just have to have a re-edit of the fucking EY sound. It just goes... <laughs> it just dies down. Yes, welcome to Extra Extra Cast Ranger, the show where we talk about Tokus... Ah, uh, you fucking asshole. <laughs> show where we talk about the news. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. Where we talk about news in the Tokuverse and all the magazine scans that'll spoil your food like so much oxygen. Before we begin... There's one last thing that I need to cover. Uh-huh. Uh, remember Cowabungast? Yep. Yeah, remember how I've only actually drawn three of the turtles? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, Did you draw the other? Have we completed the, the quadfecta? Oh, yeah. Are you ready for this? Oh, my God. <laughs> Raph zero one. Raph zero one. That's actually really fucking wow. awesome. Wow. good. Well done. Yeah, I, I was like, shit, who Wait, I just have it zero. I love the head. That's the best part. Oh, that mask, yeah. I screwed up the shell a little bit because I had two different pictures of how this thing went. <laughs> One was a toy. I'm like, shit, the toy's not accurate. But, uh, yeah, the mask I'm quite fond of. This <laughs> is Probe Rice! Crawling Turtle! Yeah. Probe uh, <laughs> Rice. Hero in a half shell. I couldn't find <laughs> I couldn't find any good pictures of the weapons, so I'm just like, oh, let's have a wrap. Oh, yeah, that's kind of news this this week. Fucking Sans is in Undertale! Is, is in Smash! Sans is in Undertale! Sans oh is in Undertale! You're right! Undertale. He's also in Deltarune! I'm so fucking tired! I love that I there's can't a comp- believe that Sans is in Undertale! Sans Q Undertale I love, I love is in Smash! I love that there's a compilation in Deltarune, like for Deltarune, where just everyone's reacting to just seeing Sans, like they're walking around the town and it's like, Oh my god, it's Sans! And they're just like, everyone everyone, okay. everyone who sees Sans in Deltarune loses their shit. Yeah. And then... Well, have you seen that one, like, perfectly cut video of somebody watching the 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 announcement? Where it's showing the Team Rocket part before and he's just got a totally stoic expression. But then Sans shows up and it's just like, Sans! And then it cuts off. I just, Sans! I just love, when we were watching that direct, Gar and I were watching it live. Oh, yeah, I got one. And, uh... As they showed him, I actually belted out immediately with one with my favorite Undertale meme. <laughs> Sans, holy fuck! Did you know that was originally a Phineas and Ferb joke? Is it? Huh. Yup, it started yeah. with a comic comic that said "Mom, holy f" and had Candace kicking the door down. <laughs> Sans, holy all right, I got to quote something. That, that, that may or may that. not have actually been made by a crew member. A jump to the sky becomes a pizza party. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I want to May share I, this. Um, I'm, sh- um, I'm sharing this because I drew this for no reason whatsoever. But I like my suit that Chris gave me, so I'm gonna. I made my own my own Cast Ranger suit. Yeah, so it's, it's gonna, cool. I really like it. I'm this is share. like Savage Caster's super form. Yeah. Hello, it's... Yo. Oh, it's so good. That's fucking badass, man. Yeah, that. Uh, oh, you should like draw all of us. Uh, like, I'm going to. I'm, I'm sketching. Oh, I always put my own artistic slant on it. Cool. That's so cool, man. Meaning that like, because Chris has ideas for various forms. I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna take what your base one looks like and make it stuff that has to do with you. Like mine is, you know, has like various little things about me. Like I love foxes. My mine's mine. I have a hoodie, so if you can yeah. incorporate to a hoodie into mine. To be completely mine. honest, I was going to like message you asking to do an art trade. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Of, of Cast Ranger related art, just so yeah. that we could both have new Cast Ranger art for next week. Well, I was gonna make like a like obviously this is not like you know canon to anything specific, but it's like uh, you know to the art universe. It's the fact that you guys are talking about a Cast Ranger fan art exchange just fills my heart with glee. Yeah, just wait till we get into the slash fiction. Oh God! No, <laughs> you know what? Bring it on! No, just. It's, uh, it's, I, I won't give any specific No, it's, it's going to be slash fiction about Lane really <laughs> getting excited about a figure and declaring it's like all the way excited. Lane yeah. X, ta- Lane X like, Tanger Robo. Yeah, the whole, whole time I was like, you're amazing. You have a swivel arm. You have bicep swivel, opposable elbow. It's so oh. opposable. But uh, I won't give any specific details yet, but I will say that I am 
uh, in drafting stages of a blue caster yes. super form. It's, That's it's being, so cool. It's being toyed with, and the members of our Cast Ranger family have seen the first draft. Well, I oh, drew it. I sketched it because Chris showed it to me. He's like, no, 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 don't release that. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to erase everything. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it on Patreon. Yeah. I just realized that I, that I, um, you can't see me holding my hand up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, yes, Emily. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, there's because we were talking about. I know this is not related, and I don't want to cause a tangent. But because we were talking about oh, the, yeah, they cause tangents. The the Nintendo Direct. It, I was really excited for it. Just but like in a normal Nintendo Direct way, where it was just like. This is going to be, like, some cool news about Pokemon, maybe some new games I'm interested in. And then it just hits me, Deadly Premonition 2? Oh, yeah. Oh, I... I, Basically, I could not speak for, like, two hours. All I could think was, they're making a Deadly Premonition 2. I... And... And the first one's on Switch now. I couldn't believe that they're releasing Jedi Outcast on Switch. Yeah, I didn't they, they ask for they, that. Apparently, I'm known enough for liking Deadly Premonition that Ichi sent me a message saying they may saying it in case I didn't know. Yeah, no, Ichi and Gar saw me. I lost my fucking mind. You know who your friends are in nerddom when something That's, is announced and everybody just yes. sends it to you? Yeah. Like, Sakimi Chan, the artist, drew up a new picture of Bowsette and 17 people sent it to me Jesus. within six hours. <laughs> <laughs> But I just one of the I was actually talking to Sakimi Chan at her table at one of the times. So I'm like, hey, do you have this? <laughs> and it didn't even get like its own little separate announcement. It was like one of the like game rapid fire games that they. Oh, threw it's like in. we're gonna make this. Thing, we're gonna so make that. Gonna, 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 cool. yeah, yeah, so I was I so I was like ma- I was like making dinner. And that, and then it just, and then it just came up, and I like my phone was beside me, and I just sort of glanced over, and it just said "Deadly Premonition 2. and like I swear to God, I thought I didn't read that right, so I looked. You, we like back yeah, that, back say, that train right up. Parts are all spoilers, so but, um, but and this is gonna sound so dumb, but I literally jumped in the air like three feet. Like oh, I, a spoiler for like, Deadly Premonition. Deadly one, Premonition. It was left open enough for a sequel. Yeah, That's, I literally have never heard of this game. I what the Apparently, game has played it for a little the, bit. Um, the the port of it of the first one to Switch that just came out is buggy as heck. And the truth stuff. is, we wouldn't have had it any other way because the game is known for having an amazing story but horrible gameplay. Yeah. It's about a detective who talks to himself while being Skulder and Mully. Mulder and Scully. But I that's fucking Skulder and Mully? Skulder and Mully yeah. in one. I'm just, I'm just I, going to um, I have uh, more. post I have... something in chat without context or anything just because... Um, okay. Because I if I give too much context, it would probably be spoilery, but... You just exchange messages of less and less context. Look, 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 look at this photo I took today. And I, I don't, I don't cosplay. I don't enjoy <laughs> cosplaying. It feels weird to me because no characters really look like me and I don't want to be weird. But Deadly Premonition, um... <laughs> Aww. The only cosplay I've oh, ever Oh, you're that done. weird kid fucking dude. I remember him from the first game. Those are some wicked sweet overalls, though, I'm not gonna lie. Good job, Emily. Oh, yeah, Overwatch <laughs> for Switch. The only cosplay I've ever done. I got you can so actually, much gardening. It has the patch on the back, but, like, you can see the patch. Um, I love coveralls. I just think they're just so that, functional. Oh, okay. The, uh, Willy, pa- Willy is, the, is the dog. Um. Nice. You can see the patch like on the back. Every three years. He's wearing Crocs because I don't have boots <laughs> like he actually Gross! wears. And it just it just hit me like that he would totally wear Crocs, so I did wear Crocs <laughs> to Fan Expo one year. Oh, I cosplayed Bob from Bob's Burgers. And you fucking nailed it. <laughs> yeah. so oh my hard. god, that's amazing. Can, can someone put that in the chat to push down my horrible one? Alrighty. All right. So, what's our first story? Sorry, sorry, you gotta, how weird that that's is. okay, Emily. We got, we got a bunch of actual Toku news to get into. Fuck. As Gar, <laughs> Gar, Gar, Gar's that's been obsessing over Mario Odyssey for the past like two days. He beat oh. it. Congrats, Gar. All right. So we are barely out the fucking gate on Comrade Zero One, and we already have a scan of the Sixth Rider. Yeah. Okay. What's with Wait, the, the filter were, over it? I thought there were like Did you three. Say six? Yes. Uh, I apparently don't know of three more. Two more. Oh, well, like Sixth yeah. Ranger. 
This uh, is their line Vulcan, when Valkyrie, I say sixth Jin, and Rider, Horby. I mean sixth. We already knew about Kamen Riders, Horby, and Jin from earlier scans. And now we have uh, a... Yeah, we don't have the Lynx, Ichi. Oh, sorry, Lynx. I will also, uh, please don't be, be... But I want... Did you say Kamen Rider Horny? No, Horby. Hor- Horby, as in destroy. And there's... Oh! That sounds like a character from Meta, uh, Metabots. It does actually. <laughs> Meta V and Horror V. Attack Horror V. And there's Conrad. Like the, the bad, like the evil counterpart of Meta V. Yeah. No, it's oh, Jen. Um, somebody mentioned that I should get people in photo shoots to do nerdy common rider stuff. So uh, I decided. You've heard of planking, right? You've heard of dabbing. Yes. I call this zero oneing. What is it? I need. To... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's slightly terrifying, actually. Like it feels like like a last it, photograph. It took seven. It took seven minutes to get her in that pose. We just couldn't get it right. <laughs> that oh, photograph yeah. taken seconds before murder. <laughs> so like, before like, pointing. Is really scary. We decided I think to it's... shoot on Center Island on the coldest day this year. I think it's just the locale that is scary. Like it looks like you you did a photo shoot in Silent Hill. All and right. That, that is a mo- oh so that is a model named Little Finch cosplay. She's, She's nice. nice. Yeah, Chris. Uh, Chris is she alive? Her. I really hope she is. I said she's nice. No, from our death, not her death. Uh, she's she's been Tharia. She's been Bayonetta. She's been Catalina. She's been Sturm. She's been a bunch. But yeah, Little Finch. All right. Yeah. So uh, the next rider in Common Rider Zero One, who is apparently called Common Rider Thouser. Thousand? In, so long, Thouser! As in Thousand, because his driver is called the Zaya Thousand Driver, which apparently uses a different style of Pro-Rise no, key. No, but nothing beats the name of his weapon. It is a unique oh, yeah, sword I weapon mean... called the Thousand Jacker, and I just fucking belted out loud when I first heard that word. Is it too early to draw um, trollish fan art of this character? This... His, his fucking his sword looks like the Blade Rouser. I was gonna say he's got the helmet of Kronos and maybe a little Duke and the weapon of uh, King Blade and a belt that looks like it was ripped off of Kamen Rider Meteor. Um, I want to draw a sexy female version and call it Thousette. Here's the thi- here's here's I'm gonna put this down because 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 all of the belts or the henchin devices this season so far have been named after the companies they came from. The Hiden Zero One Driver, the Aim Shot Rider Riser, the Metsubo Jinrai Force Riser, and this one's called the Zaya Thousand Driver. Rival Company. Yep. Oh, cool. Rival security firm. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's one of those things where like the president of that company's like, well, I could be a common rider too, and then yeah. he just gets immediately dummied. Because <laughs> he can't do it. I mean, you know how these riders are, they show up and kick ass. He's jacking a thousand in San Diego. Like what, the Coney 2012 guy? Yeah, the <laughs> thousand jacker. Like, that's such a bad name for a sword. No, uh, Goggle Hero, I'm Everage Studios photography. Yes. That Dream Life is, is uh, another photographer. Dot hog. <laughs> Dot hog. <laughs> so, these scans are not super great quality, but I imagine by next week we'll have a better shot of them. But yeah, interesting. Driver's looking okay from what we've seen so far. I I don't know if I like it yet. I will wait till I see more. Alright. I'm just excited we have more riders. More riders, more power. Next. Uh, In the same batch of weirdly filtered scans, we have... uh, yeah, apparently Ryusul Red is getting yet another power-up. <laughs> yeah, and it's in the form from what I can see in the scan. It's gold armor with a blue cape. Um, so hopefully Kanalo huh. gets that. Interesting. We haven't even gotten his fucking Mystic Knight of Fire armor from the previous batch of scans yet. We've already got the leak... Leak of another super form? Can we get the Mystic Knight of Tirnanog form? Uh, oh, we ha- we are. That's the last batch we looked at. You'll That's see That's what it. I was thinking when you said it. But yeah, so apparently this is a new weapon called the Ryusol Caliber, which comes with a new metallic version of the red Ryusol, which gives Ryusol Red this new form. Okay. We can't see a super lot of it, but again, next week we'll probably have a better shot. It's just like the real soul changer with a blade in it. Yeah, you know what it is? It's the changer and the sword put together into one thing. Oh, joy. 
fucking done with this series. Who <laughs> said time? Our please. two toys are bad. Put them together. <laughs> Gar, do you have any thoughts? Not until we get better images. <laughs> okay. Next, we have official images of some upcoming Zero One merch. Wait, well, yeah, he's probably got a bike at some point. Yeah. So first off, we have the Rise Phone or the Heden Rise Phone, which uh, pulling from Build again transforms into a bike. Are you gonna get the phone? I will wait until I hear the sounds. Okay. Well, that's like you got mail. <laughs> you got the mail. You got the mail. Uh. Oh, it says, Otto, you got message. <laughs> <laughs> Off brand. Uh, yeah, so it has this little lock button on it that you press. Oh, you can use it in the driver. Yep. You scan it on the authorized slot and it says, uh, changing to super bike motorcycle mode. <laughs> oh, so it's not just, su- not just super bike mode, not just motorcycle mode, but super bike motorcycle mode? So yeah. you have to authorize it just to use the bike? Amazing. Fucking probably. Wow. Wow. What is the, you gotta put coins in, you got a ride machine? This is, this is, this one's version of putting a full bottle in the build phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, uh, it has ringtones, it has email received sounds, it has running and motorcycle sounds... Uh, and it works with the RKF, uh, right, zero one figure. All right. That's pretty cool. So the Rice phone will be 3,200 yen, early October release. I want that figure. It's pretty nice. I'm, then, I'm thinking about starting to collect some of the cheaper figures, because I actually want to play with them. Oh, yeah, the cheap figures are still pretty good. Right. How, how much would something like that be, you think? Um, I'm ordering the Vulcan and Valkyrie figures, so he said they were, like, 35 apiece. Yeah. All right. Next, we have official images of two of the upcoming Progress keys for Biting Shark and Punching Kong. What happens when you put those in Soundwave? Huh? Don't those look like the Soundwave cassettes from G1? That's the joke we've been making, that they look like cassette tapes. Yeah. Well, they do turn into, like, robot animals, so... Who, who, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like all right. sharks. So, for Biting Shark, putting it in the Zero One driver, we don't have all of the text translated, but the phrase that it has is... Whoops, I clicked an ad. Uh, fucking, just ignore it. So yeah, when you put it in the zero one driver, the the James AI speech that comes out of it is fangs that can chomp through concrete. Amazing. Uh, and of course it works in the shot riser as well. And then next we have punching Kong. Which one do you have? Is that one of them right there? We have through? Flying Falcon, which was the promotional one. That oh came yeah, out. that was the one that I uh, used as a phone. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, like, it's fun to flip it out. So, Punching Kong will be primarily used by Vulcan, but it can be used in the Zero One driver, and the James AI that comes out of it is enough power to (laughs) annihilate a mountain. (laughs) Because you know sharks are known for biting through concrete. Oh my god, is that a street shark? I was about to say, uh, street shark says hello. Oh my god. (laughs) It's a street shark's reference. Oh man, somebody get me the, is there a gif of hand shark with Vin Diesel? You ever seen that? It's, oh, it's like this the shark old, it? <clears throat> yeah, it's this old video where Vin Diesel is demoing Street Sharks toys, and at one point he's like, "All right, check this out, Hand Shark." I, I had a, that I had reminds a, me of something shark really shark. random. How there's all these weird like celebrities doing promos for things because there was a video for Banjo Kazooie that was John Lovitz. Weird. And Banjo's in Smash Two now. That's true. Voice by but John Lovitz. Just, it just it just comes it just comes across as as the critic reviews Banjo Kazooie. It stinks. It stinks. It stinks. <laughs> no. All right. So both Progress keys will be released individually for fifteen hundred yen. Uh, Biting Shark will be out on September fourteenth, and Punching Kong will be out on the twenty first. Damn. I'm probably going to get Biting Shark. I'm not sure about Kong yet. I'm gonna get Punching Kong. Well, there you go. Next, we have images of the attached shotgun! Ichi's actually really thinking about getting two. I'm gonna dual wield them motherfuckers! <laughs> okay, so we don't have translations for everything, but one of the phrases that it has uh, it, when you push the trigger is 
A tash case open. A tash case opens to release the incredibly powerful shotgun. The incredibly powerful. I have to say, between the themes of this series oh and the English, I'm just loving it. I just don't get me started on corned beef. Oh, oh we'll corn. get to that. Yeah, we'll get to Cor- corn. corned beef. Oh, no, I'll get to it. Don't worry. <laughs> Itchy didn't notice it. Oh, I noticed it. Corned beef. Yeah. Corn beef. All right, that's so why, that's what I call zero one. All right, so the attached shotgun, which is going to be Commander Vulcan's sidearm, which means technically he'll be able to dual wield guns. Oh, so I, oh, it pivots out. <laughs> yeah, fucking G- Gates, born twenty fifty, died twenty nineteen. Aqua, twenty thirty eight, died twenty nineteen. <laughs> Wall Street analysis. Yeah, Zio's fucked up. That's weird, man. All right, so due to the court ruling of last week, you're not allowed to make fun of Zio anymore. Uh, I'm waiting for I the appeal. Was, I wasn't in the room at that point, so... Oh, I forgot there was going to be an appeal. Yeah. Uh, so yes, the shotgun transforms from a briefcase mode into a shotgun mode, and... looks like such a nerf gun. Right. Like, that should shoot nerf. And I'm excited to see what, it, how, what kind of sounds it does, because it actually looks like it has a fucking pump on it. So you can pump the shotgun. Yeah. Pump, 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 pump. Uh, and if you change it back to briefcase mode and then back out to shotgun mode, that's how you do the hisatsu, and you get even more hisatsus by putting progress keys into them, just like the attached caliber. I yeah. fucking like this thing, actually. It's right? pretty cool. I'm absolutely Brilliant. getting it. There's no way that's cheap. Uh, it's going to be 3,800 yen, so probably around like 50 bucks. Uh, Maybe 60. Yeah. Bucks. And it will be out September 28th. I want one. I want I might get two. Is that the one that the the dude? What what is this Valkyrie? Because I like Valkyrie a little. Like I, she has a, I, Valkyrie has the shot riser. Yeah. We don't know if she has this. It'd she, be cool if she did. Okay, I I, I want to talk about the we'll, show so much. We'll get to it. Yeah, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. You Next. need to hear what I have to say about Facebook. Oh my god, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have images of the upcoming RKF Legend Rider series of Kamen Rider Double Cyclone Joker featuring the Hard Boiler. That actually looks like a really good figure double. It these, does. these RKF figures are actually really impressive. And that it's great really and it's great that this is coming out because it is Double's tenth anniversary now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, I have to celebrate the ten year anniversary. Are we a triple now? No, we were a triple when O's happened. Oh okay. I have to celebrate the ten year anniversary of one of my favorite comrades of all time, Comrade Excel. <laughs> the so, secondary. He's so cool. I have a list of things that I like about Excel and I've made a uh, Excel sheet in Excel to to talk about it. Or is fucking you? a lot of fucking writer fans pronounce his name as Axel, and I'm like, no, it's that's Excel. fine. It it, it 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 annoys me how people mix up Axel and Excel constantly. Oh man, I thought it was got Excel gum, but I got <gasps> extra gum. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> but, we're on, but we're on extra extra cast ranger. Yes, we are. But anyone <laughs> likes some gum? Yes, please. I'm good. It's super. It's polar ice. Ooh. So I like things minty. Would you like a piece of polar ice gum, Gar? It'll tide I you over. Like it'll tide you over yeah, for freezing one bear. Time. One timer. Thank you. <laughs> It'll tide you over until Freezing Bear comes out. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh my god, I can't wait to get that fucking key. All but the mint. So, this figure of Double has multiple points of articulation, comes with the hard boiler, an extra scarf, and a set of interchangeable hands. The set costs 4,500 yen, which is not bad for a figure and a bike. Oh. How much yen? Uh, 4,500 yen. So, so like 60 bucks. Yeah, probably 50, probably 60. Uh, and will be out September 28th. That's pretty cool. Next, SH Figure Arts Renewal, a hand. <laughs> Official images. <laughs> oh, I already talked about this, but I just, I love it comes with an iPhone 4. That's the greatest fucking thing ever. Wait, what? It comes with a little tiny iPhone 4. Wait, 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 what are we talking about? Uh, SH Figure Arts Renewal on. On hand. We have <laughs> it does, oh my it, god. It's- it's Ice. just a renewal. It's just Ong's hand. It's just Ong's it comes, hand. It comes yep. with a popsicle. It comes with a popsicle, some medals, a tiny iPhone 4, and a stack of cell medals. That's that you'll a... lose in T-minus six seconds over the back. <laughs> That's great. I, you I've can already... heal those. That's... I, I was saying... Hold on, hold on. Are, like... you, are you actually excited? Or are you being sarcastic? I'm not sure. No, I'm actually excited because Ankh was one of the major players in O, so it's nice that, hey, yeah. you can have an Ankh with your Yeah, with so your if you have the, the figure art, which... I How can't... are they posing him like this in the shot where he's just floating? It's... They Photoshop, yeah. It's just a stand. Uh, uh. Um, yeah, but they photoshopped it out. Okay. Oh, so I was saying, like, they do a renewal figure arts of birth, and he needs to come with the, the milk jug. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And you know what I was saying 
earlier when you were saying about the renewal birth. Yeah. Just come with uh, swap pieces to make it proto birth. Yeah. Yeah. So you can make proto birth. Absolutely. Oh yeah. And come with the they, they've been doing that a lot lately with Gates Revive and, and, and then release the accessory kit where you can just make birthday. Birthday. Oh, birthday that would be birth. amazing. That'd be awesome. Yeah. All right, so uh, this figure uh, does the yes, it does come with a pedestal to make the arm float. Uh, the set costs thirty nine sixty yen and will be out January twenty twenty. That's actually a reasonable price for just a fucking hand. But yeah. the thing is, anyone who doesn't know, oh, it's like you're you're someone's in a shop oh, and then watch the show like it's a fucking hand with wings. What? Yeah, why am I buying a fucking hand? But anyone who's always going, oh, my heart. <laughs> in response, in response to that message, hey, I love my igloo. Yeah. And uh, my pet moose. It's funny that it's coming out January 2020 because 012020. Three zeros. Blaze, I see that you are also a man of excellent taste. <laughs> oh, Blaze has like the hugest hard on for Tajadol. Like, yeah. I, I, it's the, uh, I got rid of a lot of my figure arts. I could not get rid of any of my oaks. Like, Once the renewal Tajadol figure comes out, Blaze is going to just be like, money! All the money! So wait, you're telling me that. Against all expectations, nothing goes coming up, O's? Exactly. Yes, we're talking about We're getting that. to it! <laughs> Next! Uh, we have... Oh, look, it's the kangaroo dinosaur! Yeah, no, I was right! It's a pachycephalosaur and a kangaroo! Its name is Pachygaroo, and it carries a baby in its pouch! Oh my god. It's oh. both! Oh. I don't normally say this. That's sweet. But Chris was. R Itchy was right. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, well. I apparently, I've been calling you Chris on the stream. Do you want me to stop doing that? I'd prefer Itchy, but whatever. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we have official images of Packy Guru and Chibi Guru. There's the mom and there's the baby. You know what I want to do now? Go back. I just want to buy, like, I just want to have, like, the little mini Aka Ninja Cho sets and just put oh, them in put there. It. <laughs> <laughs> you show me this thing attached to, uh, the, the Megazord? Yes, there is Kishiru Pachyguru. Bam. It's I'm got gonna... big ham fists. I want it. I want it so bad. I just noticed in the right, in the left fist, it's got, like, the shadow of the dino head in there. Like See, flame. I thought the raptors oh, were cool, it. and then you combine the raptors together and it looks fucking terrible. It That's does. The raptors. Have I told, okay, so I have some, you know, I'm not, like, there's things I don't like about Ryu Soldier. You know what I do like about Ryu Soldier? That fucking Zord, man. Oh, yeah. I bought it from Lane. And I and uh, I literally sleep with it next to me. Oh, I'm too lazy to put it on. Well, I was happy to sell it to you, sir. Uh, and then we also have images of the Dashin Soul, which oh, looks so alright. I want this. I want this so bad. Remember, you can screenshot it. Uh, yeah. So the B -B -B Paki Guru DX set will cost thirty two hundred yen. September twenty first release. Nice. No, that looks awesome. Guard just discovered he has a screenshot button on his Switch. <laughs> you do not know? Where do you think that button is for? You can record videos too if you hold down the button. In some games. Yep. It's great for Splatoon. Oh, that rear soul looks cool. Yeah. I like the green. We yeah. were just shitting on the green last week about the armor. Yeah, I but it looks good on the rear soul. <laughs> it looks good on you. I gotta get in touch with, uh, what's his name? I want that. Oh, Dave? You know, I, I, want a bunch, I want a bunch of these things. Like I, I I'm getting them all. No, but I want the, 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 the robot parts. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, buy a packing group. All right, next. When you're getting one, let me know. Okay. And I'm going to get one, too. Okay. So, you know how last week we talked about this gentleman who was uh, joining... The Red's the... replacement, apparently? Okay, so I reread that article, and I think what that is is... He was one of the candidates to be Ryu Soul Red. Oh. Oh, so he was one of the... Uh, failures. What's the word I'm looking for? Not failures. failures. No, they just didn't um, pick pupils. it up. Don't pupils, judge. yes. Yeah, he was one of the pupils of Master Red. That oh, said, okay. we have a new oh, article okay. confirming that, at, yes, his name, the actor's name is Seiya Osada. He's going to be joining the cast as Nada, a fellow member of the Ryu Soul tribe, as the seventh Ryu Soldier, apparently. Oh, is he? Can what? we get another girl with this? Asuna's pulling double duty. So, so wait, what's his name? His name is not the character or the actor? Uh, character. Nada. 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 No, no, sorry. Nada? Yeah. Oh, Sorry. Osada. Osada. Yeah. Um, now, I'm going to try real close to zoom in into this, because he's got one of those Ryu Soul jewels on him, and let's see if we can figure out what color Ryu Soldier is. It's gold. <laughs> it, it looks brown. No, it's gold. 
it's no, no, the kid. little jewel, not the rest oh. of it. Because all of their jewels have the little circle jewels in the jaw maybe, of the maybe, drill. Maybe, maybe he like kills Bomba, and then he takes over his very soul black. No! It's I mean, a... I don't want that to happen. I love Bomba, but... If looking at this, it looks like the jewel is brown. So are we getting your... A bronze soldier? Maybe bronze. Maybe he partners up with Pachyguru. Because he does have some bronze on yeah, him. Yeah, bron I would love a bronze ranger, man. Also, for my ultimate ranger team, I don't have a bronze, so I need uh -huh. to add something. Because no nobody from Real Soldier so far gets to be on <laughs> the The shit-covered knight! Real Soul Brown! That's me! Richard no. Brown. Richard Brown! Mr. Brown! Mr. Brown. <laughs> this would be interesting, because it would, I think, be the first official Brown Ranger. Yeah, I want... I Wait, that. they didn't have one in the the um the one season where they had like a million of them. Q Ranger? No, no, not Q Ranger. Um, Q Ranger um, is the series that has the most. Uh, the one with the other dinosaur. The one with the other dinosaur. Q Ranger? No, Q Ranger. Okay, no. so he was supposed to be the Red Ranger, and they said no, so he didn't get the we'll gold. Get... He, was, they, he they didn't put him in the second. So we, didn't... we can do brown. Yeah, they're like, all right, you get the bronze. I have a orange. That's close to red. <laughs> So, Orange interesting. Nice. We'll see what happens. This will probably happen in the next couple weeks. Aw, uh, yeah. Where's your yeah. shit? Aw, uh, shit. Here we go again. Next! Uh, for you, soldier, let me pretend to be excited. <gasps> Ooh, can I talk about this? Go for it. So, Space Share Shider will be airing on the Toei Company official YouTube channel uh, starting this month. Bitchin'. I love Shider. He's awesome. Yeah. Wow, I like, like Metal Heroes. So, uh, Space Share Shider was the third... Uh, installment in the Metal Hero series and the finale to the Space Sheriff trilogy. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, the only other major thing is that he was played by A.G. Subaraya's grandson. Cool. Who is now That's deceased, neat. unfortunately. Yeah, who is now dead, unfortunately. The Metal Heroes, that was so, they, they made that weirdly into VR Troopers, didn't they? Yes. Uh, he was, Shiner series was actually incorporated into VR Troopers after yeah. they ran out of footage of Matelder, because Matelder only ran for 35 episodes. Uh, Ryan got a new VR Trooper armor because they didn't really have names. Yeah. Uh, so he got Shider, in which, fun fact, apparently Juko B Fighter was meant to be the third season of VR Troopers. But due to low toy sales, VR Troopers got cancelled, and it was reworked into Big Bad Beetleborgs. That's interesting to think. VR Troopers is the only one of that whole clutch of shows where their armored forms really didn't have names. Nope, it was just VR Troopers. I, I have to admit, I love the shit themselves. out of yeah. VR Troopers, man. That show was, that show there, was pretty good. There is 92 episodes of VR Troopers. Jesus, man. fuck. We are. We are. We, we are. are. We are. That's fucking hardwired. Trooper, trooper transform. Next. I have the uh the um the the actual uh transformation device. Like it was apparently a McDonald's toy and I got it at a yeah. pawn shop for two dollars. Warning, I think Chris is gonna buy a Yamaha. <laughs> <laughs> so Yamaha the vehicles or sorry, Itchy is gonna buy it. <laughs> gonna apparently buy have been airing commercials featuring a shit ton of Blue Rangers. <laughs> That's uh, got your name all over it. We talked about this previously where uh, they had a commercial last year celebrating the 40th anniversary of Yamaha's Blue Snow Thrower. Uh, so for this year, they have two new commercials adding in uh, Gosei Blue and Geki Blue. Ah, oh, Geki Blue. Oh, yes, Geki Blue for... He can fight on the side of a field. He, Geki he, Blue. He drove a car. <laughs> He's a famous artist. The commercials will be released slowly throughout the regions of Japan, starting in Hokkaido, moving south to Tohoku, on our way back to Detroit. That's oddly specific information. <laughs> Do you know who should be in this, which is weird? He's not. Fucking uh, Out Ninja. <laughs> the man has a fucking lawnmower. Carly. Carly. Yeah, the the Blue Ranger in the Ninja. He had like this this. Lawnmower named Carly, who he's like really in love with. God, and they did put and then, and, then, and, then, and then his and then his lawnmower turned into a monster, and then he had to kill it. Yep. In which I'm upset that that never got adapted into Ninja Steel. Right? <laughs> oh, I, I, I figured it took. It's, it's not that like we're getting Rio Soul Brown. We're getting we're getting a uh, a chibi version. It's called uh, Rio Soul Tan. <laughs> Nice. Tan, get it? Yes. <laughs> That's a pun. Yuck. 
so <laughs> anyone who cares, you can watch the commercials now on Yamaha Snowblower's official YouTube channel. Cool. Snowblower. Yeah, it's a snow- well, yeah. Yamaha Snowblower. Oh no, Yamaha doesn't make cars. Yeah, sorry. They make motorcycles, I think. They do, yeah. Are games on motorcycles? All right, next. Uh, there is apparently going to be a Tokusatsu actor talk event featuring the actors who play Blade, Chalice, and Lengo. Oh my God, is that Mutsuki wow, on the I like right? Two of those yeah. things. <laughs> wow, look how grown up Mutsuki looks. Uh, he looks like he looks like a Rider villain. Well, Tachibana-san, Toko the- Deska. Why are you looking? We're, we're going to go into the final words from Blade and the final words from Chalice. The angle, you don't get any final words. <laughs> you didn't even get a second form. Yeah, but you didn't. Yeah, but you proved that you didn't need one. Yeah. yeah, by being so unimportant that nobody remembered he was there. No, that he could take That's on. Mean. No, that he could take on undead without okay. even having another form. Yeah. That picture's cool, but it bothers me because Joker should be on the other sholdder, not the left, not the left one. Oh, no, the right. no, but that, that's the yeah. side the guy I remember went in. No, Joker's on the oh. in the Lost Driver. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's Joker armor. Yeah. That's true. Get I, trivia on. Stand correct. Trivia off. We should do, like, a Kamen Rider trivia or something. Oh, someday. like, how much trivia we know? Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, this is a, an event happening at the Hologram Theater in Aru Aru City, Fukuoka. Oh, I love Aru well, Aru. the Hologram uh, Theater. Th- yeah. This wouldn't be the first time that they've gotten together since the show ended. Uh, one of the f- major times they did was for Blade's, I want to say, 10-year anniversary. They did an audio drama together. I, rem- I think I remember. That. And they did. Uh, they all showed up in the uh, Tyson GP. Yeah, where they, all, where they all fought Sangha. I just think it's funny that it's three out of four, and there's no mention of why Tachibana's actor is not here. Well, they're all busy. The other three made time. And I'm not gonna harp on it. Whatever. I just wanted to make a funny haha about it. Damn it again. Oh, before extras over, uh, I need to. I want to pitch something to the fandom. Okay, yeah. once, we're, once we're through the stories. Yeah, that's the same. Let me know. All right, so, yeah, that's neat. Next, uh, the official Common Rider Diner in Japan has added a new item for Waz fans, oh. apparently. Oh, I, what I, is I, it? A... Hold on, I gotta do this right. Anyway! Behold, at the Common Rider Diner, you can now enjoy the Oma Advent Cake, modeled after Waz's book. Oh my god. And if it looks so good! Oh. If you want something extra on it, you can get the Waga Moose. I love, <laughs> I, yeah, I love that the chocolate, like, moose is, like, the, the edge of the book. Waga Moose! <laughs> that looks really good, oh no. Waga Cake, Waga Moose, okay, well, not over Okay, well, the now, now the thumbnail just needs to be a picture of, like, a moose with Waz's head on it. <laughs> I'll love the chocolate Waga Moose. I'm Waga- looking at wait, all wait, the wait. food. You know what the you drink with that? Kind of a Waga Mochaccino. There you go. Waga Mochaccino. You should make that Starbucks. They're also having. If did you click through to the Twitter? Because they're also a zero one cocktail that's really freaking adorable. Oh. Let me just post it uh, in news links, I guess. Oh no, wait, I don't have permission. Just post um, it here. Oh did my god. With, did they come with figures? No, I think it's just like, this is who it's based on. Oh, okay, it'd be cool. Oh, that one's based off Agito and his I'm fucking cool. the Tornado. So there, Tornado. If there was figures that came with it, that'd be cool. There are so many. Oh my god, these are amazing. But uh, yeah, so this Oma cake is uh, intended to be ordered for those celebrating birthdays. Uh, but you can purchase it for whatever reason at 2068 yen at the Common Diner. I hate Cross E, but I'd eat that ramen. Common, diner, wake up, Ramen! Get Claus Dragon! Yes, it's Claus! <laughs> my, uh, my favorite is I actually saw this the other day. I was in a store and it was uh, figure, uh, SH Figure Arts Gourd Drive. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I make Gord jokes about that all the fucking time. I make jokes all I the have, time. It has a place. I have Common Rider Gourd. Common Rider Gourd on Ramsey. Oh, yes, yeah, somebody's <laughs> 
same fucking time. Bro, oh, here's the uh, here's the Zio so menu. That? The God, that? Who, who put that? Here's the whole oh. Zio menu. I I don't know if it, it went for the same, but the second your thing appeared on the screen for us is when I said it. So we were thinking the same thing. Yeah. I can't really tell what the stuff is. Um, there appears to be some kind of Oma Zio float drink. Yep. Oh, um. There is um something for Sukiomi, which I can't tell. Is what it, it is. soup? <laughs> if it's soup, I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna fucking lose my mind if it's soup. Wait, there oh, it is. Oh dear God! It actually kind of looks like soup. Uh, no, it's, it's in a plate. I don't know. It's poutine. It's a poutine. Oh, it's a poutine. Oh, it's an al. It's an al poutine. <laughs> Wow, oh, yeah, and uh, the no clock promos. plate with different stuff on it, and Waz has some kind of pie. God damn it! I had a joke in my head right before Gordon Ramsay came up, and now I forgot. <laughs> it. Was it about? It's forgotten. I, I just I'm, want to post a million a of these things. Right now, and I'm doing like they're amazing. NPC Look, it's dialogue. bread. Sorry, right, hold on. Everyone's talking at once. Sorry, Sorry. Tom, Tom. Go ahead. I'm working uh, like freelance for a video game, and right now we're writing uh, all of the dialogue for random NPCs. And there's this chef they run into, and a lot of the characters, if you kind of stand near them, they'll just randomly say things. So one of the chef will randomly just start shouting, "Where is the lamb sauce? Where duck sauce? I forget what it was, but okay. it's lamb sauce. It. it is lamb sauce. Yeah. What were you saying, Emily? I was just saying, like, look at all the stuff Isn't at this Kamen Rider diner. We have bread rice, whatever that is. I want to do. Uh, 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 wait, wait, wait! Do they have like an omo rice, but it's omo rice? <laughs> I don't see any actually. <laughs> That's a missed opportunity. I want to open. I know. A I agree. I, I want to open. They like, seem to diner. have a lot of different stuff there, um, but right now it's mostly Zio based. But not all. There's also some stuff that's not. Like there's what appears to be croquettes that are based on gaim somehow. Alright. Orange in them. <laughs> they're they're pretty clever with their food. I, I wanna open a diner that serves like Super Sentai themed food, but like all soups and call it soup or sentai. <laughs> Will you be having the soup or sentai? <laughs> oh, yeah, the chicken and a sea bag. I'll have the sentai and they just get rider kicked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the I sentai? Wish I, got, I wish I'd gotten the soup. <laughs> Don't I lie awake wondering about the soup that Ruin Zio. Oh, here's some more meals we have, um, including a uh, a uh, <laughs> Teki Xade hair pasta to represent his hair. Oh God! Oh, that's the last Mate. thing I want to think of. What is pasta's hair? And it's just is that Cyclonic Cell Extreme's face? Yep. And a Puto Terra pizza. <laughs> I wonder if they pizza have Terra. Pizza Terra. Okay, we need to move on. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I just, I, I just, I'm so fascinated can, by this. Yeah, we can now order. Are we ready to order? Now I'm hungry. I didn't eat dinner. Oh, oh dinner? there's one more. It's a special drive. I have, I have an idea. That's the Taiyaki driver. If you want to order a lasagna, I want to get in on that. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it'll be too late by the time we're done. Oh, okay. All right, next. We could stop somewhere on the way back. Noel is starting his own YouTube channel! Fuck yeah, it's probably just gonna be him doing a bunch of parkour, because that's all he does. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, like, during the Q-Ranger ending of the movie or whatever, he just, like, when they're doing the dance, he just does, like, a fucking front fl yeah. back flip, and I'm like, yeah! Do you ever, like, um, the, you know the guy who played the Blue Ranger, the Blue Lupin Ranger? I started following him on Instagram, and it's literally just what he does, his entire hobby, is he wants to make every type of curry in the world. So he'll... He'll talk about a curry, he'll make it, take photos of it, eat it, and then write his thoughts on okay. if the curry was good or not. It's the hilarious, most hilarious thing. Uh, yeah, so Seiya Motoki has launched his YouTube channel. It's geared towards children's content. His first videos are focused on toys and candies from Ryu Soldier. Oh, I'm so, I feel so bad oh, for that's him. that's cool, he's YouTube's... doing an unboxing channel? <laughs> Have you heard about YouTube cracking down on children's channels? No. They're, they're all demonetized now. <laughs> it, you've got it, you're, you now cannot monetize a channel that has advertising in it that's geared toward children. So he has to do wow. it unsponsored if he's doing it. Wow. Yeah, he picked the worst possible time to get onto YouTube. Well, maybe he'll uh, pivot over to parkour videos. Yeah. <laughs> parkour. Lean into the parkours. Parkour. Yeah. Well, He's good luck. sponsored by Joey. Good yeah. luck to him. Yeah. Next. 
And I fashion ounces his corned beef, honey! Oh, 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 oh you, you just made Tom's night. I can't believe it! I was gonna <laughs> ask you if they were gonna do that! <laughs> oh my god, there is a corned beef hoodie! It's the corned yes, beef hoodie. The corn beef hoodie. Hey, no, Tom, if they released Bon Joe's dirty shirt that he wore in the first episode of Build, they'll make anything. Wait, wait. No. What the? What do they call it? I need to know what they call that shirt. Okay, so uh, man, on Arto's shirt in the show, it says something about corned beef, and on it's it. like stylized pictures of spam. It's, like, it's, it's a joke because I he's a comedian. I noticed that. I was watching it on a phone screen. So, yeah. Maybe that's why. So before we actually talk about zero one, someone go into the episode and find a clear shot of his shirt with all the text on it, so we can discuss that. Wait, Ichi. No, it's the black, other shirt. Black, black jacket. Red that's shirt. not. That's Is not, that the character you're thinking of? No, that's not the character I'm thinking of. It's an anime or video game character. I know. I'm making. This I joke. still can't figure out who the fuck his outfit reminds me of. Maybe we'll get. But to I'm it. watching the episode. I'm really into. It. I'm like, does his shirt say corned beef? Yeah. Like, do they think that means something that it doesn't mean? Like, do they think this is cool? <laughs> anyway, no, they probably maybe, just know. They I mean, probably just. He's a comedian, so maybe he's just trying to be funny. Maybe. Okay, we'll get to it. Bandai Fashion has announced the start of their new series of Comrade Zero One themed hoodies. Uh, let's see if there's a name for it. They're just, I think they're just called the Zero One Hoodies? Let's check the Bandai Fashion website. Yeah, I want to see what they call that. Oh god, it's a mess. It's, oh, it's just the corned beef sweater. Yeah, you're not going to find it. Yeah, you're not going to find it. Tr trust me, I look on freaking... How much are they? Okay, it's like so 8,800 yen. Each hoodie is 8,800 yen, so probably close to, if not over 100. Also, think of it this way, they're in Japanese size. Japanese yeah. merchandise is fucking expensive! Like, a l extra large is a large Oh, somebody's got it size. in, the, uh, in yeah. the chat. Corned beef. Is it? So, well, last season, yeah, last season we had com we had Kamen Rider soup. This year we have Kamen Rider corned beef. Oh, yeah, so there's you a... You and I are a great combination. The other day I bought a kelp at a convenience a store... By mis mistaking it with corned beef. Mistake so he, with an E in it, even though it shouldn't be there. So he bought so it's kelp. terrible English. So he bought English. kelp thinking it was corned beef. Alright, and then, yeah, you, that's the shirt he wears in the first episode, and then there's another one with the turned right shirt that he wears under his business suit going forward. Corned beef. Amazing. I was actually considering buying corned beef sandwiches to share with people, and then I thought... You've been marketed at! And then I thought... No, nobody here would eat them, so I didn't. And <laughs> so I bought myself one and I ate it. Alright. Would you eat a corned beef sandwich if I brought a corned beef sandwich, Chris? No. Or itchy? What about you, Lane? Would you nah. eat corned beef? Gar, would you eat a corned beef sandwich? Yeah. I yeah. would. Okay. <laughs> well, oh, you're not here. You, I'm glad I didn't hear about it. like, uh, well, I got one for you. How do I upload this sandwich? Right. Uh, excuse me, guys. I didn't I'll send you a sandwich. Uh, By the way, things. corned beef sandwiches are amazing. You're going to corner the market. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, corned beef sandwich. Next! Corned beef rider, zero one. Three. Imagine the cafe has corned beef on it later. Yeah. Next, Premium Bandai reveals more Zio rubber mascot capsules. Uh, yeah, those look pretty good. I can't stop making the corned beef shirt! <laughs> so we've got Zio Kuga, Decade Double and O's armor. Uh, then Forze Gaim, Ghost Exaid and Build armor. Oh, that is good. Then one of Sogo and Geitsu. One of Soup and Schwartz. One of Wool and Aura, and one of the Waz twins. Oh, yeah. And then there's Waz one of Oh, I want the Omazeo. One. one of Omazeo, one of Zeo Omaform, one of Common Rider Soup. And yeah. Go back to Omazeo. Wait, for a is second. it Drive Armor? Nope. What? Okay, okay, so I saw it. Is the band, it always seems to be oh. over the belt. Which sometimes it's under yeah, the belt. Yeah, I, I never talked about that, but that really bugged me. I, I did notice in the finale, and we didn't talk about it, how when he gets pissed off at that one moment, mm. it the, the sash does go behind the belt. Which looks better. Yeah. It bugged me so fucking much. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, so those are all the sets in here. Uh, they're releasing in January for the price of fifty nine forty for the complete set. Okay. Oh, for the complete set? I'm like, that's really steep for a... For yeah. a for, like, all of the ones there. Nothing surprises me about Japanese pricing anymore. No. Neat. Alright, and... It was announced that uh, Haruka Fukuhara, who was in the Tokyujur Galaxy Line movie, the Tokyujur vs. Kyoryujur movie... Oh, and I liked the, her. ...and the Zuojur vs. Ninja movie... She was the space train person, right? Yeah. She was... Yeah. Uh, I, it was Lady or something was her yeah. name? 
Uh, and she was also, this will be a note to Emily, she was Himari Arisugawa Kier Custard in Kier Kira Pretty Kier a la Mode. Oh my gosh, she was what? She voiced Kier Custard? That's amazing! So, I, I mean, what is she She is appearing as a Meet personality on Zip, an information television program. So a show that's on in Japan. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Uh, uh, seems pretty fitting for... Seems pretty fitting for Himarine. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Neat. Uh, as a monthly Friday personality for the month of September, starting today, the day of recording. September 6th. Cool. And that's you the news. You forgot the Metal Phantom story! Oh, sorry. I, oh, it's because I didn't have it in tab. Okay, yeah, there we go. Let's end on this note. Uh, so the Kamen Rider Grease movie is happening, and we got a leak of Kamen Rider Metal Build's, uh, p- super form? And it's, uh, jet combat on crack. It's a- fucking badass. Apparently it's- That's build? No, that's it's that's metal, build. Uh, metal build, so it's, a uh, so it's like a guy who it's just uses a version- No, it's not a robot. Did they? No, it's a, it's a dude. Oh. I um, I thought it was a robot, that would have been awesome. But no, he just- It's the- It's the build hazard, but he has, a tank- uh, tank eyes. Both tank eyes that are black. Yeah. And he just... It, so, they took the hazard suit and made it, like, better than it so already was. So this is, like, Kamen Rider Metal Build Phantom Jet or something? They ca- I f- don't know exactly what they're called. Anyways, it looks fucking cool! Uh, that's pretty cool. Ugh. Oh! Has, have you guys built any of those figure eyes figures, the Bandai ones, the, like, Gundams? No. Oh! Oh! I do. Yes. Have you? Uh, build. Yes, build. Yeah, I have a build. Can I see it? Yeah. I'm thinking about buying one. Uh, hang on. I think they have X-Aid as well. Yes, they do. Uh, well, I saw uh, the well, ones I saw the other day. They, they had build, they had Zion, and they had Gates. I was considering. Do you still one. have rabbit? Tank? No. Are you done? Uh, Ichi has a rabbit. Tank. I have it. Uh, well, I don't need to well, compare. I, don't I would rather you not disturb this. my carefully laid no, this is, series. Of this videos. is the figure eyes of build. Be careful. Figure eyes. Yeah, the stickers are a little weird, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm not good with stickers. So yeah, looking at this form for no, I mean weird that there's so many. Oh, looking at this form for metal build. The, the spikes on its, like, face plate almost look like cross. It looks like the dragon face. It does, yeah. yeah. Hmm. But it's a really good figure. Wake up, burning. Like, I'm interested to see how he gets his form, because obviously the bottles are still the same. Yeah, it looks like he's still got the same bottles oh, yeah, in the belt. One. Maybe he just... Will, maybe it's just like a... Maybe, maybe he uses two Hobbit. different black bottles. One. He's not my favorite Hobbit, but you give me one. Maybe it's like... Maybe it's, maybe it's the, just Jet Jet. Oh, yeah, I was going to say maybe it's black Jet, jet Jaguar. Bottles. Sure, no, I, I wish. wish. Lane, oh! <laughs> Lane, look what they did to Jet Jaguar. They made him dark and gray. Wait, when? The the, the Phantom build. Oh. Eh? <laughs> oh, God, oh. it does look like Yamega. It does, yeah. Oh, I love Yamega. He's my favorite bug Pokemon. Cool. Oh, yeah. I haven't held this build figure in a while. I like it. It's a solid build. It is a solid build. I remember uh, building it during Should I get one and then, like, literally next week just build it while <laughs> we're streaming? If if you don't if people are okay with just the sound of a figure being assembled well, the whole I can episode, talk. I talk like a, like a son of a bitch. No, I know, but the mic can pick up things that are near it. Yeah, it's literally like snip, snip. Yeah, it's like that time I was cutting. What does that sound? Bed. Homer, go. I'm making some cuts around here. Homer, come to bed. Homer, go back in the garage. Yeah. So and that was, uh, is that news. That's the news, but I believe Tom had a thing he wanted oh, to talk about. Yes, uh, I was I was mentioning this in the chat. Uh, I okay. yeah. Um, I was thinking about, uh, doing a podcast, uh, or a streamed, uh, RPG, uh, with p- possibly a couple of fans if they wanted to do it, j- to jump in, um, with Itchy and the gang, like, basically a tokusatsu, maybe Cast Ranger themed RPG. Uh, like, like D&D, basically. Like a table RPG. Yeah, tabletop. Uh, would people be interested in that kind of program? Garzin, I'm in. Yeah. So, I would love to try if you'd have me. Sure. Uh, so basically what I was thinking chat. is, you know, we could do it with the core casters, but we could also have guest stars, uh, like guest players. So it's a rotating, you know, so come on now and again uh, from the fan. Because I know uh, some of the people probably would like to get in. I think Blaze. Yeah, Blaze is already saying he's in. Yeah. So Blaze, uh, Blaze is a, Blaze and I have already been part of uh, some tabletop games uh, with uh, Overkill. Yeah, Mister Mercury Caster. So we can do a thing where we just stream it and then just put it on the YouTube thing. Yeah, if you want. All right, so uh, I I uh, I'll put that. I'll, I'll I'll start working on some ideas. Like obviously we wouldn't do it on a Cast Ranger. Day. 
Yeah. So maybe on a you know like do it every couple of, a couple of weekends or something. Yeah. And if people like it, you can do it. Or we can do this. And we could do a version. Yeah. Like if you wanted to play your cast ranger characters, we could do like it wouldn't be you know accurate to anything else. Yeah. But it could be like a different universe. A new, a new canon. We, we can get a whole yeah. cell. You'd probably be down for that. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll work right, but that's, on that's an idea. I just wanted to gauge uh, if there if I, people wanted to see. I'm to always in favor of more projects on our channel. Sweet. What I wanted to, I know you invited me on, but I want to come up with something. I want to throw an idea out there. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. cool. So uh, we'll be working on that, and we'll share yeah. more news when we have some. Oh yeah. So that in, is exciting. In the meantime, that is extra. All Sweet. right. I'll see you guys all in the minute or so. We'll hear, we'll hear you all on the podcast proper. It's, it's Thank like, you for listening. The catchphrase. Bye.